Hello everybody, what's going on lads and lasses, welcome back to 100% Mags. So of course we're coming at this game on Sunday, 2.15 kickoff at St James Park, live on Sky Sports uh, against Leicester City. And of course we're coming into this one on the back of a 1-0 win uh, from Friday night under the lights at St James's Park against Wolves. Um, in this game is of course a complete sellout against Leicester at St James's Park. Once again another sellout this season uh, and this is something we have been seeing quite a bit since of course the brand new owners came in uh, that the games are completely sold out. So the only way to see this game is either uh, by watching it live on TV or watching it by a dodgy stream online. Uh, of course, looking at Leicester going into this game, uh, they're going to be without Wilfred and Diddy, Ryan Bertrand and Danny Ward, as they're all going to be missing due to injury. Uh, Jamie Vardy, as well, is slightly unlikely to be able to feature in this game, so that is a massive boost in my eyes, uh, you know, because we all know what Jamie Vardy's like, even in the uh, back end of his career here. He still likes to find the net and he still likes to be deadly in front of goals. So him not playing in the game could be a massive boost for us going into it. Um, of course, since Gabriel Batan scored his goal uh, back in October of 2014 in a 1-0 victory against Leicester, Leicester have ranked up a five successive Premier League wins at St James's Park uh, with, of course, an aggregate score of 13 goals uh, to three in favour of Leicester. Of course, during that time, though, uh, we have had success down at the King Power Stadium where we have won three of our five visits to the King Power Stadium. But, of course, with this game being at St James's Park, we'll have to see how the game goes. It's going to be a feisty game. I believe uh, it'll be a feisty game, but, you know, we have had... A chance to have a bit more rest than Leicester as well with them. Of course, last night taking on PSV Eindhoven in a second leg of the quarter final uh, in the Europa Conference League, uh, which of course seen them win 2 1 uh, in that game and of course allowed for them to pick up their first ever semi final uh, in Europe in their club's history. So, congratulations to Leicester on making their first ever semi final. Uh, in their club's history in Europe. And of course, um, you know, hopefully Newcastle can take advantage of that on Sunday and we can beat Leicester in the game. Uh, looking at the referee going into the game, it's going to be, of course, Jared Gillette, who was four for the previous game. Uh, second game of the season involving Newcastle for the Australian official, who, of course, studied in Liverpool uh, and whose Premier League debut came in a 1 1 draw. Uh, it Wofford back in September of last year uh, and of course he also presided over Newcastle's uh, game as well against Blackburn Rovers in a 1-0 victory uh, back in the Caribou Cup of last season as well. This of course will be the second game in charge at St James's Park following on from that game. Uh, Lee Mason is going to be on VAR for the game as well uh, so you know we'll see how things go. On that side of the fe uh, fence, is it wasn't so great uh, in the last game against Wolves, of course, with Jared Gillette and Peter Banks, of course, disallowing a perfectly good goal from Chris Wood. But, of course, he ended up, thankfully, uh, getting uh, his goal in the end by way of the penalty spot. Uh, looking at our team going into this game, uh, Joe Willock is expected to be available for the game. Uh, Ryan Fraser, the wee man, is a doubt heading into this game, but hopefully, you know, we'll hear a little bit more about it uh, in Eddie Howe's press conference. Hopefully, we'll be able to play in the game. If not, then I'm sure Eddie Howe will have uh, a player in mind to take the place of Ryan Fraser in the team for the game. Uh, Callum Wilson and Kieran Trippier, however, are still unavailable uh, for to play forward, but they have recommenced training. There's pictures out there on their social medias of them back in training for Newcastle, out on Newcastle's uh, social media pages as well, of them back in training uh, with the team. So hopefully it won't be long until, of course, they are back in uh, the starting eleven and playing the games again. Um, there has been talk that they could be back in time for the game against uh, Norwich City. 
but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below going into this game. What's your score predictions going into this game as well? I'm going to go for a trusty 1-0 win um, against Leicester City. And hopefully we can get another three points in the bag and push up the league a little bit more. But I think it's going to be a feisty game. Uh, it always is. Um, you know, the last time we played them at St. James's Park, we lost 2-1. Andy Carroll scoring the goal in the game. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we can come away with a positive result at the end of the game on Sunday. Uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Any Leicester fans that are watching as well, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And, you know, hopefully, like I say, uh, it's a positive result on Sunday. Till next time, I'll see you all there. Take care of yourselves and however lads.